Good morning, students. In the last class, we have completed grammar. We have completed vocabulary part of true height, and today we are moving to the grammar part. And today we will complete that. Okay. Now see, grammar. In I think you can find it in your textbook. Uh, see in the under grammar part. Look at the following sentences taken from the reading passage. As he raced down the golden-lined wheat fields, he would always outrun the locomotives passing by. First one, uh, in this, as is underlined. If you observe the sentences, as is underlined. So see the first sentence. As he raced down the golden-lined wheat fields. he would always outrun the locomotives passing by second one when he heard the singing of some distant robins in flight he knew it was his time to fly in the second sentence uh, the word when is underlined in third sentence since the other volter had fewer misses Michael needed to clear this wall to win. In the third sentence, since is underlined. So, if you observe these three sentences, uh, there are different words underlined. What are they? One is as, second one is when, and the third one is since. The above three sentences have two diff have two parts. In one part of the sentence is. separated by comma with lacks complete complete sense it has to depend on the other part of the sentence for complete sense so if you see here in the above three sentences there are two parts in one part of the sentence is separated by comma which lacks complete sense means you see here if you see the first one as he raced down the golden line wheat fields so if you read only this sentence do you understand means does it have any meaning no so see here it has to depend on the other part of the sentence for complete sen sense so what is the other part of the sentence he would always outrun the locomotives passing by so without having the other sentence if you read the first part of the sentence it do, it doesn't have complete sense isn't it so by reading by it is, so it is called it is dependent isn't it it depends on the other part of the sentence to give us a meaning isn't it so see here the sentence part that is incomplete is dependent clause and the sentence sentence part that has complete sense is independent clause so see here i have taken the example of first sentence isn't it so here the first part is as he raced down the golden lines wheat golden line wheat fields so this is it doesn't give any sense to us isn't it so it is called dependent clause and whereas he would always outrun the locomotives passing by it it gives the complete meaning isn't it so it is independent clause so we call the dependent part of the sentence as dependent clause and the independent part of the sentence as independent clause in the above sentences the clauses with as and when denote time whereas since denotes reason so what they are saying is here in the first sentence as and the second sentence when and in the third sentence since so these words are so what they are saying is as and when denote time and whereas since denotes reason means as and when gives us a refer to time and the other part state 
what happened at that time in the third sentence the clause beginning with since states the reason and the other states the consequence so what they are saying is as and when referred means it denote time so it refer to time and other part of parts state uh, state what happened at that time and whereas in the third sentence since states the reason and the other part means other part of the sentence states the consequence so the words as when since are conjunctions so these three words as when and since are conjunctions conjunctions means they are joining means uh, a word which joins two sentences is called a conjunction so the uh, these words are joining two sentences isn't it so uh, they are saying that as when since are conjunctions which connect two sentences or clauses the clauses containing these words are called adverbial clauses so what they are saying is in a sentence uh, which ha uh, means in a sentence if there is as or when or since they th at these words means these clauses containing these words means in the clauses as when and since are there means they are called adverbial clauses these adverbial clauses cannot stand independently so what they are saying is in a sentence if it if it is uh, means if as or when or since is present in a sentence so they can't stand independently so they will be depending on the other part of the sentence so uh, the dependent part of the sentence is called dependent clause or subordinate clause the clause that stands on its own is an independent clause or main clause the linkers as when and since are placed before the clauses to make them subordinate clauses i think you have understood this so see here now read the biographical account once again and pick out the adverbial clauses and main clauses and write them in the table or in your notebook so students already i have done this table for you and in your textbook there is space but i think it is not sufficient for you so you better write it in your notebooks okay so see in the table first column uh, what they have given sentence from the text and second is adverbial or dependent clause and the third is main or independent clause so see the first one michael's mother read him numerous stories about flying when he was growing up so what is the dependent clause here when he was growing up so without saying the complete sentence do you understand what if we say when he is growing up no so it is dependent and what is the main clause here michael's mother read him numerous stories about flying so this is the main clause when when she uh, read him numerous stories when he was growing up so the adverbial or dependent clause is when he was growing up and the main or independent clause is michael's mother read him numerous stories about flying see the second one as he lay on his back he knew the other volter had missed his final jump this is the sentence from the text so here the adverbial clause is as he lay on his back so it is depending on the main clause so what is the main clause he knew the other volter had missed his final jump i think you can understand what i am saying so try to understand and write them neatly in your notes okay so the second one is as he lay on his back is the adverbial clause and the main clause is he knew the other volter had missed his 
final jump and the third one when he heard the singing of some distant robins in flight he knew it was his time to fly so in this what is the adverbial clause yes it is when he heard the singing of some distant robins in flight this is the dependent clause and the main clause is he knew it was his time to fly okay see the fourth one as he began sprinting down the runway something felt wonderful dif wonderfully different yet familiar so here adverbial clauses as he began sprinting down the runway and the main clause is something felt wonderful wonderfully different yet familiar and see the other one when he took a deep breath it happened so what is the adverbial clause here this when he took a deep breath and the main clause is it happened and the last one bet would always do that when he got excited smile and then sort of giggle so in this the adverbial clauses when he got excited smile and then sort of giggle and the independent clause is bet would always do that so i think you have understand this and we will move to the other part complete the following sentences with appropriate adverbial clauses use the adverbs wherever they are given in brackets so students i have done this for you you write them with a pencil in your textbook okay the teacher first one the teacher entered the class so it is incomplete means it is dependent isn't it so when the students were playing games so in the blank what you will be writing when the students were playing games first one the teacher entered the class when the students were playing games this is the first one see the second the dog ran into a speedy car as they were crossing the road so what you will be writing in the blank as they were crossing the road so the second one is the dog ran into a speeding car as they were crossing the road third one i was in deep sleep when the telephone rang so in the third blank you will be writing when the telephone rang so the third one is i was in deep sleep when the telephone rang see the fourth one someone knocked at the door so in the blank you will be writing as rani was preparing food for her husband so the fourth one is someone knocked at the door as rani was preparing food for her husband and see the fifth the crowd cheered michael stone in the bracket they have given as soon as so they are asking us to use the word as soon as so what you will be writing in the bracket as soon as he won the event so the fifth one is the crowd cheered michael stone as soon as he won the event see the sixth one it is high time the cricketer the cricket board thought of different alternatives and they are asking us to use as so what you will be writing in the blank as the senior cricketers have announced their retirement so the sixth one is it is high time the cricket board thought of different alternatives as the senior cricketers have announced their retirement 
okay i think you have written it and see the other part editing read the following passage every numbered sentence has an error identify and edit it so in the given paragraph they have given numbers also for each sentence isn't it so they are saying that there is an error in each numbered sentence so they want us to identify and edit it so students i have written it already for you and if it is possible you write it in your text or write in the notes okay see the fisherman first we will see the given question okay the fisherman has a daughter she was 17 years old that was the age of marriage for girls in those days so the fisherman was looking for a good bride for his daughter he found several young men but he does not have enough money to get his daughter married to one of them some of his friends advised him to see the raja who ruled the town and asked him for help he was ready to look their advice but he did not wish to go to the raja without any gifts so this is the paragraph given for us and they are asking uh, they are saying that there are some errors in this paragraph which are numbered okay so the sentences with numbers they are having errors and they want us to edit and write them so see the paragraph after editing the fisherman had a daughter not has a daughter had a daughter she was 17 years old that was the age of marriage for go girls in those days so the fisherman was looking for a good bridegroom not bride you have to write bridegroom to get his daughter married to one of them sorry uh, so the fisherman was looking for a good bridegroom for his daughter okay now third he found several young men but he did not have enough money not does not have this did not have enough money to get his daughter married to one of them see the fourth some of his friends not friend friends advised him to see the raja who ruled the town and asked him for help and see the fifth he was ready to take not took you have to write take he was ready to take their advice but he did not wish to go to raja without any gifts so this is the pa paragraph after editing and there is writing part you have read the story of michael stone think some think of some world famous sporting personalities from india collect information about any one of them and write a biographical script sketch you may include the following date and place of birth information about the family hardships or difficulties faced achievements of the person like awards prizes honors etc important events in the life of the person like education marriage profession etc and inspiration inspiration to others or message to the society and seventh is contribution to his or her field and society so here they are asking us to write about any world famous sporting personality means any famous any world famous 
sports person from India, not from other countries. They are asking us to write about a world famous sports person from India. And they are asking us to collect information about that person and they are asking us to write a biographical sketch about a world famous sports person from India and in that you can include these things like date and place of birth and all those things so the homework for you is you have to write a biographical sketch about any world famous sports person from India okay this is the homework for you and we will continue the remaining part of the lesson in the next session thank you have a good day